Hi there, Decrypt back again with another update. As you can see on my on the chart on the screen, Bitcoin has dropped and it just annihilated the bottom of my flag. But it seems to be doing what I said it was going to do right in the beginning. Now why this is doing this, that's open to speculation, but I have another theory. As you can see, it's just, it, yesterday it just blew through the bottom of my flag and well, it actually it actually cut the it went below this this trend line, but these these trend lines could have been drawn, or they were drawn pretty rough, roughly. So, you know the the amount, but that it that it actually broke the trend line, you know the trend line might not have been in exactly the right place. So, let's just say it touched on the trend line or it bounced off the trend line, and is now doing what I thought it was going to do right in the beginning. Let me just. Uh, enlarge this quickly so that we can we can take a look at what it's done a bit more close up as you can see there it just just the two candle wicks there have just just passed the the trend line um, there's no solid no solid candle be below the line so yeah I, th I think we are still coming down to test this trend line now and well as you know, as I said in the last video, the Bitcoin futures mature today. I would imagine later on today. This is um, I'm about five or six hours. Oh, excuse me. I'm about five or six hours behind, or rather ahead of 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 the U.S. So they later on this afternoon or this evening for for me, the futures will expire or mature, and then we should see a change. But I've also, in the meantime, found out something else that might have an influence on what is happening here. The authorities have launched some serious investigations into the fixing of the Bitcoin price, which is possibly also responsible for what has happened to the price. Personally, I, th I see it as a, as a good thing. Um, I've said it before, I think the Bitcoin futures were the worst thing to ever happen to Bitcoin. It just proves that they're not decentralized, uh, or rather proves that that even though Bitcoin is decentralized, it can still be manipulated, and quite easily actually. I still have a theory of how, even at this stage, it is entirely possible for Bitcoin to become totally centralized. It is possible for the Fed or the government or the banks to collude and literally buy up Bitcoin. Um, it is not worth that much. If, yeah, it's worth a few hundred million or billion or whatever. It's a drop in the ocean for these guys. It is possible for them to literally own Bitcoin and shut it down if they wanted to. So yeah, um, they're going to make a lot of people rich in the process, but it is still entirely possible, in my opinion anyway. But as you can see there, a major breakthrough through the flag, through the bottom of the flag, and now testing that, that trend line. But I think after tomorrow, we should see something happening. Let's hope anyway. I just thought I'll throw that out there. The news of, of the, the investigations into the Bitcoin price fixing hopefully is going to lead to uh, some people being dished out some hefty fines or maybe even give them jail time because they deserve it. This is, this is bullshit. What is happening here? Anyway, yeah. Just a quick one on a Friday morning. Quite a chilly Friday morning here where I am. I will be back. With a, I'm going to be making another video after this on what is happening with the Dignity token, which is all good news. I'm going to be going through the latest uh, CryptoBontics, or rather the Arbitrade news from them, and what it means for us. And um, yeah, the, the, the news of the airdrop and everything else. And as you're going to see in the next video, the, the price is shooting up, which is great. Let's see what happens. Let's get out there and make some money.